I'm Ade Shalanka, a writer from London, and I'm the founder and director of Spora Stories. We tell the dynamic stories of the African diaspora. Welcome to Phyllis Wheatley 250, our series celebrating the life and legacy of the amazing writer, poet, prodigy, and celebrity, Phyllis Wheatley. The Phyllis Wheatley 250 series celebrates her achievements as the first African-American to publish a book of poetry. She's amazing. Not only the first African-American to publish a book of poetry, but also the third American woman to do so. Her book was called Reflections on Various Subjects, Religious and Moral. And the writer, Phyllis Wheatley, came to London in 1773, 250 years ago, to publish the book. She came to London from Boston as an enslaved woman, the property of a family called the Wheatleys who lived a little bit from here on King Street. She was about seven when she was kidnapped from West Africa, as so many millions of others were, probably the age of second graders like these kids here. Phyllis was enslaved for 12 years in Boston until she returned from London and was able to secure her freedom as a writer, as an author, and as a published poet. I came here to Boston to understand her backstory better, to walk the streets she may have walked in, including Boston Common, including King Street, which is now called State Street, and to get a sense of what the world she would have inhabited 250 years ago might have been like. I mentioned her books were published in London. They were transported to Boston on a vessel called the Dartmouth. You may have heard of it because it was one of the three vessels involved in the Tea Party uprising, also in 1773, the December of that year. So, Phyllis is central to another seminal moment in American history. So why don't I know about her, I hear you asking. I know all about the Tea Party. Well, you're not alone. Unfortunately, as is often the case with black people's history, with women's history, her story has been marginalized, erased, and effectively buried in history. But fear not, here we are with our Phyllis 250 project to tell you her story. I'm speaking to today's Phyllises, the trailblazers, the pioneers, the movers and shakers of today's arts and culture scene in Boston. Writers and educators and leaders in all sorts of areas. And they'll be talking about what Phyllis means to them.